Hi everyone, I'm Roland Tagufa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Our topic is still about tie stays and railings and it's part 14 now of our exercise. Guys, uh, we have already concluded our topic yesterday about this spiral and now we're moving to another topic. And our topic for today is about this type of stairs. We're gonna explore this uh, type of stairs. We're gonna make this uh, baluster panel glaze. And then uh, we're going to customize these uh, steps also. Uh, guys, before we continue, if you are new to my channel, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have learned a lot of things about my channel, guys, uh, please uh, share this uh, channel to your friend. You can... Uh, uh, if, if they wanted to learn anything about Revit, this is the place for you. You can learn Revit here for free. You don't need to pay. And uh, we will handle everything in depth, just as I have already done. If you have uh, continuously followed me from the beginning, I have explained everything in depth. And you can learn all the things in depth uh, with this channel. And uh, from scratch, you can make. We are, we are, we are already exploring everything all the commands that needs to be learned about this uh, revit we will handle it and guys uh, thank you for subscribing and without any further ado let's get started Now guys, uh, my Revit is open. Next that I will do is uh, we're gonna open a new project. And uh, from project template, I'll select this uh, metric architecture template and then OK. Now next that uh, we will do is uh, we're gonna make a stair. Stairs. And then uh, we'll uh, just uh, change this uh, actual run width to 1500. And now we're gonna start our face so i'll just change this to left and then uh, i'll go here and make steps of uh, around uh, eight steps and then i move to around 300 mm and then move it here and uh, make it around uh, 1500 and again I'll just uh, make a landing here and then uh, like this and then uh, here and in 3D it is like this now guys uh, next that uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, rename this uh, balusters I'll just click this and uh, I'll do go to edit type and then duplicate and I will name this one uh, revise rev stair number rev stair only okay and then okay and then this one also I'll make this one also as our red stair rev stairs also And then uh, next that uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're going to modify these steps. So I'll go and click these steps and edit stairs. And then in level one, I'll just uh, make a click of this and uh, we're gonna convert this, convert. And then converting an automatic landing or a run component to a custom sketch base component is irreversible. You can edit the sketch of a custom component. Then click close. We'll edit it. And then uh, we're gonna uh, copy this. Or uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll go for this. Uh, click this one. Edit sketch. And uh, we're gonna offset this. 
and I'm going to make an offset of around uh, 300 and also 300 here and then uh, here I'm going to make a uh, riser of uh, this uh, start arc uh, and reduce arc and also here and also here and also here and then uh, next is the I'll go to this stair part and just select this and move this down and then uh, I'll just accept it Now guys, uh, we receive a warning, start component are not continuously connected. This may cause incorrect rep representation and annotation. So, uh, we're gonna correct that. So, next uh, that we will do, uh, as you can see in 3D, it is like this. There is some uh, stage that is not connected and this one is, uh, the, 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 the railings is uh, closing here at the front. So, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna correct this. So I'll go to this uh, uh, railings and then again edit and then uh, again I'll edit this, edit this sketch and then I'm going to remove this one and another one and then uh, I'll go to this uh, trim extend to corner. And then uh, I'll select all of this and move. Now it is already closed and then uh, I'll hit this escape and then uh, finish this edit mode and then uh, finish again and there is our finished product. Now the problem is already solved. Uh, next that uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna customize this uh, railings so we're going to work with these railings. Now, uh, next that uh, we will do is uh, we're gonna edit this tail. I'll go to this edit type, edit type, and then uh, I'll uh, move this uh, support and uh, place it in this carriage, and then uh, I'll make this uh, stringers also from left. And uh, place it also carriage and I place it 100 and then also 100 here apply and then ok and our carriage move up to 100 mm uh, next uh, we're gonna again uh, make a nosing, I'll click it and I'll go back to this edit type and then in edit type, I go to this run type and then in run type, I place uh, a nosing so nosing of maybe uh, 50 millimeter and then uh, I'm going to use this uh, uh, m steel nosing 40 mm and then I'll place it uh, left, front, left and right and then uh, I'll just uh, make this uh, riser slanting and then apply and then uh, we need to apply a material so I'll go to this uh, thread material and then in then this uh, thread material I'm going to select this uh, lumber soft food lumber then okay and then also here soft food lumber and then OK, and then apply, and then OK, and then apply, and then OK. And this is now our uh, product. I'll show it in realistic, 
and it is like this and then uh, now uh, guys uh, next that we will do is uh, we're gonna apply also a material to this uh, support so I'll just uh, again uh, go back to this edit type and in edit type I'll go to this uh, carriage and then uh, I'll click this uh, builder button and then I'll apply material apply material and also soft food lumber and then apply and then okay and also here I'll apply material okay and uh, there is our uh, product now next that uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna edit this uh, stairs I'll edit this stairs and uh, I'm going to this uh, edit type and then in edit type I'll go to this uh, rail structure non-continuous edit and then I insert and then insert again and then insert again and then uh, I'll place this uh, distance of around the uh, point uh, no uh, 800 mm then also here 700 mm and then here is around the uh, 10 uh, 100 mm and then uh, I'll choose a material uh, I'll I'll choose this square type uh, 20 mm and then also this square type uh, 20 mm and then also here square type uh, 20 mm and then material will select uh, maybe stainless steel then also here stainless steel and stainless steel also and then apply and then in preview it's like this and then ok apply and then uh, I'll go to this uh, baluster and uh, I'm going to create three so I'll duplicate and then duplicate and then uh, next uh, I'm going to change this one into uh, let's say uh, zero and here I change this one into uh, three thirty and here is uh, 75 and here also is uh, 75 then apply and then uh, okay then apply then okay and then it is uh, like this it is like this so uh, again I'll go back and uh, need to make it more and uh, need to rename this one maybe this one named real one and then here real 2 and also here real and then uh, apply and then ok and then uh, next uh, I'm going to change this one into 900 and uh, I want a circular uh, top there place a circular and uh, I'll adapt this uh, circular handrail uh, 40 mm and then apply and then ok and then apply and then ok and then again I'll go back to this uh, more because I want all of this to become to be on this top so I'll just uh, go and select this uh, edit again and uh, I'm going to change this uh, uh, host I'll change it into uh, 3 and then top is uh, rail 2 and then I'll also place this one 3 and then top of this is uh, rail 2 and then also here uh, 3 
base and then top of this is rail 2 and then apply and then uh, okay now our uh, our uh, product is almost the same I think I need to change this one into flat it's better still flat upright 50 and also this one flat and also this one flat also still flat and this one is still flat also then apply then ok then apply then ok and there it is our uh, it's almost uh, touching and then uh, next uh, that we will do is uh, we're gonna make a family of uh, a baluster so there's something not correct I think I did not apply it I'll remove this and apply then ok and there it is now uh, next that uh, we will do is I'll go to this home tab and then in home tab I'll go to these families and then in family I'll just uh, click this uh, uh, English and uh, we're gonna make uh, a metric baluster panel so here I'll click this panel we're gonna make a panel baluster double click it or open and then uh, next that uh, I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make exclusion and uh, I'll just uh, select this left right left right uh, center and then OK and then uh, I'll just uh, go and make a square and uh, let's see if I can align it I'll we'll just uh, move this there and also this one here and here also and then uh, trim extent and also here trim extent and then I'll make this one DI and uh, place this one again dimension and make this to equal and uh, place this one the I again and make this uh, as uh, I'll just uh, select that one and make a parameter and I will name this one with W and then OK and then uh, I'll align this line and then lock and then align this one line and then lock and then uh, I'll make our extrusion uh, maybe 2.5 mm here and then negative uh, 2.5 mm also then apply and then uh, I'll uh, make a material so I'll just uh, go and create a, a new material parameter and uh, I'll name this one glass then ok then I'll go there and uh, I'll just uh, select glass glass uh, I think uh, we need to choose a glass glazing glass glazing bronze glass bronze so this one is okay I think so and then apply then okay then apply then okay and then uh, let's finish this uh, 
edit mode finish and there is our baluster if you want to see this one in our reference level it's like this now uh, we need to save this uh, save and uh, I'm going to name this one uh, Custom Baluster Panel And then I'll just place this one option One And then OK And then uh, save And then I'll go back to this left and I'll go to this uh, again uh, family if you want to make a duplicate of this we'll name this one uh, let's say uh, we'll place this name type uh, 150 mm then okay and then uh, you can again uh, uh, create new and then uh, type 2 we will make it uh, maybe 400 mm we'll make uh, three types and then again we'll create another one is 600 mm and then okay and then I'll change this one into 600 and then apply and then I'll go to this uh, 400 change this one to 400 and then apply and then again another one I'll go to this uh, 150 and then change this one to 150 and then apply okay let's check if it's a uh, parametric so I'll just uh, select this uh, 100, 600 mm and then apply. Now it's coming 600. I'll change this one into 400 mm, then apply. Again, it's uh, parametric. And then again, I'll place this one 150, then apply. Now it goes to 150. And then uh, next uh, that we will do is uh, uh, we're gonna load this into project. Load into project I load it and then uh, next is uh, I'll go to this uh, I'll go to this uh, railings again and what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go to this edit type and then uh, in this edit type I'll go to this uh, baluster and this one this one that uh, I have placed it 75 I'm going to change this into custom baluster panel 150 and then apply and then OK then apply and then OK and this is our product and then you can delete this delete and then delete I just uh, wanted to show you something if I click this I go to this uh, level one and uh, there is uh, again a rail we're gonna make a rail I just uh, wanted to make a rail and uh, this rail that uh, I'm going to create is uh, rail that is uh, what you call this uh, we have done it uh, rev rail and uh, I'll just uh, select or pick a line and pick a line here and then uh, pick a line there just uh, remove this oh delete delete no? and then again uh, trim extend to corner and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make uh, an arch I 
Okay, need to move this. And then uh, move it down. Make it uh, more, it's not good. Make an arch again. And then uh, I'll just uh, check it. Mm, the railing must be single, okay? Continue. I think uh, I I did I missed this. Now I think it's okay. Now uh, I'll go to 3D, and then uh, here we can pick a part pick a host I'll just pick this host and there is our rail and uh, you can make an offset of this also from this because uh, I think it's not uh, uh, you can uh, again select this and you can make an offset, maybe uh, uh, 50 mm. Oh, make it negative. Yeah, I think it's okay. And then also here, we can uh, again. Uh, Go to this uh, level one and also just uh, make a railing and I choose this rev stair one and then uh, pick and then here also and then also here and then trim extent to corner and then trim extent also to corner here then again uh, I just uh, drag this a little bit and then again uh, make this uh, arc and uh, now uh, finish this edit mode and then I finish uh, and then also in 3D, it's like this again. Pick a host, and I pick this host. And uh, maybe also we need to again move this into around uh, 50 mm. Then apply. Now, here is our product. See, guys, uh, we have done this. Uh, baluster and with two 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 pipes behind uh, after this uh, this is the key as you can see if I'm going to click this and uh, here I just wanted to know I, I just wanted you to know how to manipulate this baluster zero zero from zero there is 30 and then this is 30 30 30 and then there is 75 75 here our center is 75 and I added again another 75 from end part 10 so total total of this distance is 1 1 uh, uh, 30 150 150 plus 30 there is spacing pattern length spacing is 180 now this is uh, what I want you to know how to manipulate this you can make you can duplicate as uh, many main pattern as you like and you can adjust this like this if you want this one to become in, 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 in proper place you make your baluster at the center and then you divide it into two like for example this uh, my baluster panel is at uh, 75 then at the end I'm, I'm, I'm here na 75 and then my end from here to here is 75 and then my end I need to add it again another more 75 so that this hole is 150 mm 
And uh, here is our uh, finished product guys. And uh, to make it more clear, I just uh, uh, want to make a floor there at the top of this uh, railings that we have done. So I'll make a floor uh, in uh, architecture tab, then floor. And then I'll just make a square. And then uh, I'll uh, edit it. And then edit and uh, select uh, a wood wood panel uh, oak, oak flooring and then uh, ok and then ok then apply and then ok and then we need to finish this and uh, in 3D it is like this now we have completed our product. Here is our product. As you can see, we have a rail and we have a very nice uh, uh, pattern here at the middle. We have this panel and we have this uh, two, two pipe, uh, two plates that uh, we have uh, placed as you can see here. Hey guys, uh, that's it. Alright guys, that's it for today. And I'll see you again on my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Allah Hafiz. Pirmilenge. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.